early stage companies are changing every single industry. And I think that it's such a critical um, fueling factor for our economy and for solving significant uh, public health and other societal issues um, that we should encourage more of that in the region. So you started Vital VO after graduating from Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in 2012. Mm -hmm. You know, what was your inspiration? It was actually out of a personal experience. My grandmother contracted a MRSA infection. She did recover, but it was quite surprising to expect somebody to be, get better when they go into a healthcare facility and unfortunately get worse. So at the time I was getting my degree in biomedical engineering and I thought, you know, what better use of my degree than to try to address this issue. How is Vital Vio's technology different than what was currently on the market? What our technology really does is it focuses in on surface contamination. There's a lot of gaps of time in which these germs can cause potential issues. So Vital Vio's technology is a continuous system that is driven through LED lighting that allows us to light the space but also disinfect at the same time. What are some of the key markets that you're bringing the lights to? So we've expanded quite rapidly over the last two years. As I said, we started out in the hospital uh, market and we, as my background's clinical research, so we wanted to make sure that this technology was clinical grade. It was something that could be used in operating rooms and trauma bays. And after that, we began to look at additional applications. And a lot of that actually driven by customers coming to us and say, saying we struggle with these germ issues just like a hospital does. So our products are now available in the athletic space, food space, hospitality. Vitality, um, food processing, and you can now actually b purchase the lights for your home. Who are some of your customers that are using Vital Vio's lights? A great example of one of our customers is Duke University. Um, they're using our lighting disinfection technology in their whole new Scott family, family pavilion uh, down in North Carolina, and Duke is really on the leading edge of protecting their student athletes. What's the market uh, that surprised you? that you didn't realize could use Vital Vio's lighting technology that uses it really well? That's a great question. Um, food trucks was interesting. We obviously have always seen a significant application in the food space. Unfortunately, all you have to do is open up a newspaper on a given week and you're going to see some sort of contamination issue, outbreak or recall in the food sector. But it was fascinating to see um, a company in Boston, Chicken and Rice Guys, that struggled with an E. coli issue and then was quick to add additional light in addition to Vital Vio and others to help prevent that in the future. So Vital Vio recently raised three million in venture capital. Um, you know, raising venture capital is notoriously difficult for women entrepreneurs. You know, what was your experience raising money? For me, it was about telling the story. Um, you know, I think that savvy investors look at uh, problems and products and teams similarly, regardless of gender. So for me, I was fortunate enough to be able to tell that story well, have a fantastic team behind it, be showing tra traction and progress, and we were successful in uh, investors seeing the opportunity. What does this region still need to, to sustain technology companies and to let them flourish? I think that there's some great um, smaller seed funding funds like Eastern New York Angels, who's been one our earliest funder, for example, and, and the fantastic work Dick Frederick and Joe Richardson do with that fund. Um, when you get up to larger investment levels of capital for growing companies like ourselves, we've had to go pretty far um, outside of this region in order to uh, identify funders um, for this next stage of growth. And so that next kind of venture capital round is critical. Um, we have a lot of really early stage companies, which is fascinating to watch and a lot of them are coming out of the technical universities and, and otherwise from this area. Um, but getting a company the right funding for growth stages to do the types of things that we do, like hire and invest in education and awareness and, and R&D, um, is, is somewhere that I would certainly say is, is lacking in this area.